All right, folks, today we have a real doozy of human decency falling harder than the big girl versus small girl MMA fight that happened recently. Strap in, it's a wild ride. <laughs> All right, so here's the scoop. There's a 21-year-old man named Thomas Ryan Elliott. But let's just call him Tommy for now. Tommy was caught doing something absolutely barbaric. He was on a covert mission in public. And no, not for doing something cool like spying on people not putting their carts away. No, but for taking upskirt shots of women. Excuse me, what are you doing? No, I just saw you put that underneath her dress. Absolutely you did. No, ma'am, I really wasn't. You absolutely did. Ma'am, I really wasn't. I promise. Then show me your phone. Get away from me. Yes. Uh, no, we're gonna call security. No, I really You absolutely did. And you were following me over in the children's section. Because I have a sister who's pregnant, ma'am. I really wasn't. You've been extremely close to me this whole time. Please I, show me your phone. No. I really don't mean Let's get to. security. Because I, this is absolutely wrong. I really don't mean to. No, you obviously did. I re no, ma'am, please, I really No, nope, let's to. get security. Imagine being named Thomas and then being a peeping Tom. This is just ironic to me. The video really does speak for itself here. This guy is straight up taking upskirt shots of that woman. Now, at first, uh, it was so blatant. I thought that this was staged. I was like, that's staged, it's fake. They're just trying to get views or whatever. But no, this guy was actually confronted and arrested and now is being charged. So get this, Peepin' Tom was a volunteer at his church and in elementary school. That's right, he participates in a place of worship and a place of children. If he's doing these things so blatantly in public, I do not think that this man should ever be around any children. That's a risk, and to be so religious and preach goodness to the world and then shamelessly take upskirt pictures of women that's just absolutely absurd and hypocritical to me. But as you can imagine, the school and the church didn't take too kindly to Tom's extracurricular activities, and he has been banned. Banned faster than the internet canceled The Witcher 3 after Henry Campbell left. That show will never be good without him. And a weird choice of words from the school is they said that he will likely not be returning, whereas the church said he's straight up not allowed on any of our properties. I don't know why they said he's likely like there's still some sort of investigation. Did they watch the video of him put the phone underneath that chick's ass and take a picture? Did they not see that? Like what <laughs> clarity do they need beyond that? Order! Order in the courtroom, Judge Stan stands before you. Mr. Peeping Tom, your actions have earned you not only a ticket to jail, but to social jail where you will forever be shamed. As a total creep, do you have any last words? Uh, when you guys recover the images off my phone that I deleted, can I have them? Uh, also, it was an accident. The phone slipped out of my hand and it accidentally took a picture of that chick's ass. Bullshit! Take them away! Now, Peepin' Tom is arrested and facing charges of felony secret peeping. That's the name, and it's a felony. His phone was confiscated. He must have deleted the stuff off the phone, so they're trying to recover those things through, uh, you know, some sort of forensics. That's right. That's the word. I was about to say DNA for some reason. I'm pretty sure that forensics guys can easily pull up anything that he's deleted off that phone unless he's like, refreshed it a bunch of times, you know? But at the end of the day, I mean, even if there's no pictures on that phone, we saw him doing the deed. We, he's on camera doing the deed. We just like straight up saw somebody break bad and say, I don't care about how wrong this is and just blatantly did it. It's so shameless and it's disappointing. Dude's going to court next week. These things take a long time to process. Greensboro, North Carolina is where this happened. And that's where Mr. Beast is from, which is kind of an interesting side fact. Population of just under 100,000 people. I don't know how slow their justice system is. Here in Colorado, you do something like this, you might see court two years later, dude. It's so packed, jam-packed. But yeah, peeping Tom, F you, you freaking weirdo. And to everyone that made it to the very end of the video, I love you. See you guys in the next one.